1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, General Montcalm, the French commander, badly in need of gunpowder, is awaiting the arrival of a wagon train. Meanwhile, the powder wagons have been captured by a daring band of adventurers, led by the famous scout, who is carrying dispatches from British headquarters to Fort William Henry. On the wagon with Hawkeye are his two Mohican friends, the Sagamore and Uncas sole survivors of their tribe, which was massacred by their enemies, the Hurons. On the other wagon are Cora Monroe and her sister Alice, daughters of the British commander at Fort William Henry, Major Duncan Hayward of the Royal Americans, who is in love with Alice, and David Gamut, the girl's singing teacher, whom the Indians will not harm because they believe he is crazy. Pursuing the wagons are French troopers, led by Dulac, a spy who is trying to steal Hawkeye's dispatches and a war party of Hurons, headed by Magua, chief of the tribe, the deadly enemy of Hawkeye and the Mohicans. Play me now! If we abandon the wagon, they'll catch it! No need for that. There are two. will never use that powder against our army. Nor will they ever know how badly we need it. Be not so sure. Hawkeye and his friends may still be alive. Why, Magua, are you a child to believe that any human being could escape that? Magua knows Hawkeye and the Mohegans. He will believe they are dead when he has their scalps. Nonsense, you are... Magua is not concerned with what his white brother thinks. You may choose your trail. And Magua will choose his. <laughs> this is I see it. Mark was still on our trail. Yonder are the horses that broke loose. If the lady is mounted, we can reach the fort before the Hurons overtake us. Uh, the trail to the fort is a difficult one for horses, with many shortcuts whereby the Hurons can get ahead and ambush us. Our only hope is to leave no trail, or a false one. Come, I have a plan. Each one of us follow in the footsteps of the one ahead, so that they will not know how many are in our party. You too, Major. Into the tree. Give the ladies a hand.
Now, young lady. The Hurons will follow the trail of the horses, thinking that you were on them. Your very lives depend on keeping silent. Why did they delay? They trample the trail to cover all footprints. Safe now to double back to our friends. The Hurons will be long following our trail through Yarn Rock. Thank heaven, here they come at last. Get ye down quickly, we have no time to lose. Ah. Trails in the water are hard to find. We will go direct to the fort, be waiting when they arrive. In this hour of deliverance, let us sing a brave Hosanna. Save your breath, friend, for the long miles twixt us and the fort. All quiet? All quiet, sir. Not a sound. Help! Help! Who goes there, friend or foe? Friend, outpost number five, wounded. And very new. Advance, friend. Rouse the force. The French are upon. What, what is it? What has happened? The French, sir. They are massing for the attack. My nonsense. You simply fell in with the scouting party. Your Excellency's pardon. We heard the tramp of feet. And the rumble of cannon wheels. Cannon? Montcalm plans a surprise attack. We must be prepared. Turn off the gas.
Generous as you have made the terms of my surrender, sir, it is a cruel blow to the pride of a soldier of my years. My tribute to a brave enemy. Had your powder held out, we still might be battering away at your stronghold. Your safe return does much to lighten this day's burden of misfortune. No need delivering my dispatches now, Major. I trust you will pardon a father's concern over loved ones that he thought were lost to him. General Montcalm, may I present you to my daughters? I believe we have met before under rather different circumstances. Am I not correct in my death? Would it be impertinent to ask your meaning, sir? The ladies were guests at my camp not so long ago, but my poor hospitality could not hold them. Has the great white father forgotten that he called these pale faces spies and ordered Magua's men to hunt them down? Magua's memory is short, or he has forgotten. Magua never forgets. The white girls went to steal powder for this fort. And but for Magua, would have succeeded. What they did was prompted less by hatred for France than by love for their father. For which I honor them and congratulate Colonel Monroe. Uh, shall we not proceed with the signing of the terms of the surrender? With or without powder, I should not sign these articles were it not for your generous promise to protect the civilians within the fort. The signature of my Indian ally is also necessary. Nothing to fear. We'll soon rejoin your father in Port Edward. 